Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me today. We are going to be painting up, up and away. So I have some little samples over here that I painted with um, <clears throat> a brush just to do some little other designs on this side. Um, I, I know that the picture from uh, the example was uh, landscape, but you can choose whichever you like better. I kind of liked the portrait, which is like, you know, this orientation better because you could make more balloons. So I hope everyone has all their painting supplies ready. I am just using the uh, primary colors today and um, black and white. And so that's red and blue and yellow and black and white. And I have a little cup of water to rinse my fingers off. And I'm also gonna use a pencil because the pencil is gonna help me draw the little lines um, that are, are the strings for our balloons. So you can really make the house and the balloons any color you want. Uh, it, you can be creative and um, I got some feedback that maybe using the brushes is a little bit more difficult for some people so I am going to leave the background out you can feel free to make a blue sky or whatever color background you want um, but I think for for my example I'm gonna leave it out this time so um, and you can you know paint hills or whatever you want like you can just be creative this is your time to to explore with your materials and just learn about finger painting and um, if mom and dad want to ask me any questions, I am watching the chat. So if you have any questions, I can answer you live or just say hello. You can be like, hi, Stacy," And I'll be like, hello, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. And that question, that, or that color I made is orange. So um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, I am going to, when I was painting these, I kind of like doing painting the house first. So um, it's kind of difficult to make brown. I mean, I guess you just, you know, mix all the colors together, but it, it comes out like very different shades of brown. So I kind of liked doing a pastel house. So I think I'm gonna do, I like this blue house. So to make this light blue is just um, blue and a little bit of white. So I like to use different fingers so that they're not all dirty. So I'm just making a light blue over here. And I've been having my, my houses on the right side, but maybe today I'll do it on the left side. So I'm just going to make a little square. And you can make your house whatever color you want. Maybe you want a pink house, maybe you want an orange house. If you want a pink house, that's just white and red, a lot more white than, than red. And, um, and if you want like an orange house, it's yellow and red. And again, a lot more yellow than red because red is a much stronger color if you got any of the paints from us at Pinot's Palette. So now I have my little square. I'm gonna let that dry before I make a little door there. Um, and then let's see, what color roof should I have? I think maybe I like a purple roof. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red to my blue that I had just made over here. And, um, oh, I forgot. Can, everyone can hear me, right? <laughs> Check the sound. Hopefully everyone can hear. It looks like the sound is going through, okay. So I'm going to make a little triangle on top. That's going to be my roof. Okay. And now this is the fun part, or what I think is the fun part. It's making all the different color balloons. So you can see on this example, I did lots of different colors. And then this one, I just did all red balloons. So maybe you like all one color balloon. Um, this one, I you could see the different balloons because I outlined them all afterward. But if you just want to make different color balloons, you can do that. I like to do one color at a time, but you can do whichever, however you like. If you want to switch out and do different colors, um, I'm going to do, let's see, let's start with yellow. So, and you can make big balloons or you can make, you know, small balloons. These are your balloons. You can make them however you like. And you can practice mixing all the colors and, and seeing what you get. Okay, so let's see. It's a lot of yellow balloons. So maybe now I want green balloons. So green, I'm gonna get a big like finger, finger dip of yellow and then a little bit of blue because blue is a really strong color. So I want kind of like a lighter green there. So that's a nice green. Now I'm gonna make some green balloons and you can overlap your balloons too. So see if I, overlap this big one it just kind of mixes in a little bit but it's okay and then here a little balloon you can use different fingers too so if i use my pinky i get a little tiny balloon up here like that okay. so 
So now I'm going to rinse off my fingers because otherwise I'll start getting all brown balloons, right? If you want all brown balloons, that's fine. You can have all brown balloons. Okay, so let's see. I guess I'll just go red next. Do red balloons. There's a red balloon over here. And there's no hurry. You can you can make your balloons as, as fast or as slow as you want to. Or if you're still working on your house, that's okay too. Maybe you wanted a really big house and only a few balloons. Okay, and then since I have red, I think I'm going to make some pink over here. So I get oh, so I get a lot more white and then just a little bit of red and now I have a pink color. I think I need even more white. And if you like this little mixing tray that I have over here, um, these are just $3 from Pinot's palette. So I'll make some pink. I'll let some of them overlap a little bit. And you can have your balloons be kind of like teardrop shaped, like, you know, I don't know if you look at norm other balloons so that they're kind of like where they're pointy at the bottom where they tie off. But I kind of like circle balloons. They're kind of like more cartoony. So there, but I made a teardrop shaped one. Okay. So I'm going to rinse my fingers now that I made some pink balloons. And let's see. Maybe I'll make some blue balloons now. Blue balloons. I dripped over here. I'll make another balloon. Okay. So let's see. Now I think maybe I'll make some purple balloons. I want my purple to be, I think, darker than the roof. So I'm going to do just straight blue and red without any white. Really dark purple balloons. Let it overlap some. And if some of the other colors mix in too, I don't think it's so bad. Okay, let's see. What other, oh, I don't have orange. So orange is yellow and red. So let's see, get a big scoop of yellow with one finger and then a little tiny dot of red. See if we can get a nice orange over here. It's a nice orange. Yeah. So orange. I like all these colors. I hope you're be able to make some nice colors on your paper. Oh, I'm getting some multicolored balloons here. Are we missing any other colors? I guess we could do a light blue. Or gray, what else? Hmm. Maybe this is enough balloons for my little house. Okay, so I'm gonna use my pencil and dip it into my black paint and then I can draw a little door here. You don't even actually, you could just draw it with the pencil. You don't need the paint either. See, you could still see the line that the pencil is making. You can draw a little door knob. And then if you want, you can make a little 
chimney on your roof. Let's see. I kind of like the mountains that happened over here. So let's see. If I want to make more mountains, maybe like the same green. I kind of like that green for mountains. So I'll make a little bit more. So more yellow and a little bit of blue. And then I'll just draw some mountains here. Sorry, moving the paper all around. I think I'll make some blue and pink clouds before I connect all of my balloons to my house. So let's see. I have some pink left, so I'm going to just swirl some clouds in the sky like that. Get a little bit more white. And then if you want blue clouds, just get a little bit of blue and a lot of white. You can make like this light blue color and then you can make some blue clouds. And put a little bit more white at the top of the cloud. Then you can also make some little birds. So you can either just draw straight with pencil like this, like little M's, if you like birds in the sky, or you can get some of the black paint on the tip of your pencil and then draw little birds with paint. Okay, and the same with the birds and the door in your chimney, you can draw straight with pencil and connect your balloons to your house, or you can um, dip into the black paint. So let's see, let's do some with black paint and see how it looks. And then let's see, I usually like to connect the, the balloons to the top of the house, but you can connect to the chimney. You can connect it wherever you want to the house. So let's see, I'll draw a line. So I'm just drawing lines from my balloons. And I try to make them as if they're all tied off from the same point. You can also make little like tie off points for your balloons, which is like a little tiny triangle. If you like, I'll get some like glue from over here and you can see a little tie off point. But it's not really necessary. You don't need it. And then these other balloons that are way up here, some of them, the strings are going to be in front of the balloons. And some of them, they're going to be behind the balloons. So like this one right here, I'm not, I'm going to stop where I see the balloon and then I'm going to continue on the other side of the balloon. So see, it looks like this balloon is attached and the string is behind this balloon. So then this one, I can do the same thing. Like continue that line down. But then maybe this green one, Maybe this string is in front of this orange balloon, so I will draw right on top of it. And the green one, see? So it doesn't really matter what you do, it'll just give you a different effect, and then you can decide for yourself where you want your strings to be coming from for your balloons. And you don't have to connect all of them, it's just, you know, to give you the illusion that they're all balloons and they're connected to this little house. You can draw other stuff in your picture too, whatever you want. Maybe you want some trees on the ground. Yeah, some of these I'm not even continuing the line. I'm just showing that the... So this one I kind of feel like maybe I want a little nubbin at the bottom. And then I will have it coming down like this. And 
this one is connected, this one. <laughs> Happy weekend. Is that Helen? I can't tell. <laughs> I just saw your your chat message. Thank you for joining. I hope this I I know you you said you're not um <laughs> you're not uh painting with me, but um I'm glad that it's fun to watch. I kind of like watching them too sometimes. Helps me go to sleep. Okay, I'm just connecting my balloons. This one's floating off. This one. Oh, that's one I wanted in front of the balloons. I'm going to go right through all of them. This one. So many strings. I was actually thinking about painting ice creams because there's a John Muir ice cream social um, today by the really nice parents of the, um, the John Muir PTA. So, but I, it, I came up with some good ice creams. I, I'll show you. I painted them and I'm going to get them ready for the next one. The next finger painting. Oh, I have too many things. Too many samples. Well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. I did find my landscape one though. Here, so this was the original. So if you wanted to do the background, you could do the background. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done here though. I have um, all of my little like strings are connected to my balloons and um, hopefully you had a good time. Um, just to let you know, we are doing a few more fundraisers in the next couple weeks. I will put them up here so you can see. Um, so we are doing uh, a fundraiser for the Asian Law Caucus this weekend. We're going to be painting these lovely koi moon, um, these little koi fish. And 20% of all of the sales go straight to um, the Asian Law Caucus. And um, the, we are also doing a PTA fundraiser on May 1st. So we're going to be painting these lovely poppies. And again, 20% goes straight to them. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a good time. I always love painting these and I hope you enjoyed them too. And if you're looking for something more challenging, these ones right here, these fundraiser ones, and we have lots of stuff on the calendar. Uh, those are all two hour classes. And you can paint along with Ben using um, acrylic paints and he paints on 16 by 20 canvas. So right now this is just uh, nine by 12, if that gives you an idea of how big the canvases are and um, you can have a lovely piece of art to put up in your house. We have paint kits that you can buy from us and um, pick up either from our studio if you need to or Grand Leader Deli because they're open more than we are and they're our friends. So thank you so much for joining us today or me, I guess. <laughs> and um, I hope you had a good time. You can always watch this again. It's on YouTube. So as many times as you want, you can paint as many up, up and away houses as you would like. So thank you very much and um, thanks for supporting us.